Hello everybody. I thought I'd wear my Christmas jumper today. I've got a big bobble on. Are you getting excited? I'm really excited. Now this last story in this series, I've got a bit of a confession to make because actually we're not 100% sure of many of the facts in this story. The Bible tells us quite a few different things, but we've made up quite a few things as well. And I don't actually think that there was a, an angel in it, but there might have been. And so we'll talk about that in a minute. So I've got my angel earrings on again today, just to remind us that we're talking about angels. This time we're looking at the wise men. Now you can see up here in the picture, I have my three wise men and they're holding different gifts. Now we don't know whether the wise men or whether they were kings. We don't know whether they had one of them or three of them or 27 of them. But we do know that some men from the East, it says in the Bible, came to visit and worship the king. This baby king that had been born. They had seen a star in the East and they had followed it and they'd got as far as Jerusalem. And Jerusalem had a king called Herod. When I tell the story, I have going to use these kings. These are my Playmobil kings. And every day I post a different photograph of where my Playmobil kings are. And I call it the King's Adventure. Like Advent, but an adventure. So these are actually kings, you see, they've got crowns on. But we don't know that they were kings. So the Bible tells us that some magi, some wise men, or possibly kings, because they would be rich, turned up in Jerusalem at King Herod's palace. Now, King Herod was a bit upset when he heard that these wise men had come to worship the new baby king. You can imagine it. I'm the king of the Jews. Who does this person think they are? I'm the king of the Jews and I haven't had any babies. I think he might have been a bit cross. So he got his advisors to look back through all of the old books and all of the scriptures that they had. And they found this verse. And it actually says this in the Bible. It says, but you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means the least. Out of you will come a ruler who will be the shepherd of my people Israel. Now, this passage of the Bible had been written a long, long time before these men had turned up at the palace. But the Jewish people were waiting for a Messiah. They were waiting for someone to come and rescue them, possibly from the Romans. And so they knew their scriptures about where this Messiah would be. And Herod kind of worked out that these rich men, these magi, must be after this person, this saviour. And he was worried, very worried. So he sent them off to Bethlehem and he said to them, now, when you get there, Say hello, do all the things you want to do, but come back and tell me where you found them because I want to go and worship them as well. Well, I don't think the wise men knew at that point. But you see, Herod didn't want to go and worship this baby. Herod had decided he was going to kill this baby because he was the king of the Jews, not any baby that was coming along. And he quizzed the wise men quite carefully on when they had seen the star appear. And they said it had been a few years. So our wise men are now off and wandering into Bethlehem. Now do you remember when I said the star had been around for a few years? We don't know exactly, but we think it had been for maybe 18 months up to two years, between one and two years. So when we think about the wise men coming to visit Mary and Joseph, the baby wouldn't have been quite such a small baby anymore. And most of the people will have left Bethlehem, the ones who came and couldn't find any space. So we think that Mary and Joseph would probably be living in a house by now. 
And when we have that picture of the wise men standing around the tiny little baby in amongst the stable with all the animals, that's not really what the Bible says. But it doesn't matter. The wise men had come to worship Jesus. So we remember the wise men at this time of year. And when the wise men got to see Jesus, they brought out their presents. And this is why we think that there were three wise men, because there were three presents. The first one was gold. Now, money would have been very different in those days. Every country would have had its own currency, a little bit like we do now still. But it would have meant different things in different countries. But gold was the same everywhere in that area. So they bought gold and probably quite a lot of it. The other thing they bought was frankincense. And frankincense was a crystal that used to crush or burn. And they used to use it in the temples when they were worshipping God. So it was kind of showing that they think that this baby is somebody amazingly special because they're here to worship him like God. And we know from what happened beforehand that this baby was God's baby. And the third gift was myrrh. Now myrrh is like an oily substance. And in that place where it was very, very hot, when somebody died, you would put myrrh all over their body and you'd prepare them for burial and basically it would stop their body getting a bit smelly. Now that's a strange thing to give to a baby. We can understand why they gave him gold because he was needing to be rich. We can understand why they gave him frankincense because he was going to worship him. But to give him something that's used on dead bodies? Well Christians believe it was because they knew that Jesus' death was actually the way that God was going to bring us back to being friends with him. And it actually, not even his death, it was actually his resurrection from the dead. So as a Christian, Christmas is really important to me. And these wise men gifts explain even more of the Christmas story. Now, these wise men found out in a dream and that, I think, is where the angel comes in. Now, whether they had an angel in their dream or not, it doesn't really matter. But I like to think that it was an angel who told them, don't go back to Herod. Don't go back to Herod. He doesn't want to come and worship this baby. He wants to kill this baby. And so the, the wise men didn't go back to Herod. They just disappeared. Herod kind of worked out that they hadn't come back and he was very angry very very cross and he made an order that all babies under the age of two would be killed in Bethlehem now the angel appears again in the story because an angel appears to Joseph in a dream and says you need to run you need to run away you need to get out of the city and Joseph and Mary and the little baby Jesus ran away to Egypt where they were refugees because their lives were in danger if they'd stayed in Bethlehem. And sadly, we know that still happens today, that lots of people have to run away from where they live because they're in danger there. So that's the story of the wise men. And it kind of finishes the story as far as we think about it at Christmas. But actually, as a Christian, I don't think that is the end of the story. I think that's actually one of the beginnings. Because this baby who died didn't stay a baby for very long. He grew up. And this person, Christians believe, that Jesus was the Son of God. And because God wants to have us as his friends... He spoke through Jesus and he uses Jesus' death and resurrection when he came back to life again for us to be friends with God too. I hope you've enjoyed this little series on angels and I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. Enjoy your holiday, enjoy your Christmas, enjoy your Christmas food, but sometime think about the baby. Goodbye for now. We'll see you again soon. Bye.